Hey, this is Chris from Cannabis Hardware, and today we're going to talk about the Auber RDK 300B temperature controller for the flower pot. So, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through some basic functions of the device and some basic settings that you'll need to uh, check on. So, um, when you first get the unit and you first plug it in, this is the, the coil that's plugged in the back. It does take a, it does have an XLR input and a regular power forward input. Secondly, you'll notice that the user interface is pretty simple. So you'll see a, a push dial knob and a power button and an LED display. Okay, there's two displays on here, one for your target temperature and one for the current actual coil temperature. One thing to know about this is that this unit will not work with a smart plug. And the reason for that is because of the type of power switch it has. Okay, so let's walk through some of the, the features of this device. So first thing to know is that when, uh, when it's ready to go like this, when it's all plugged in, as soon as you press the power button, uh, the, the coil will start heating up, okay? Um, there's no way around that, it's just the way the unit works, okay? So let's go through that. Never mind. So you'll see how it starts heating up, okay? To change your temperature, um, you're gonna press the dial, and you'll see this blinking light over here, and then you're gonna dial in your temperature to whatever it is that you want. Let's see. Let's say 600 is our target temperature, and then you press it again. Okay, and it'll keep going. Now, that's really basically what you need to know. When you shut it off, you'll see that the unit will say hot and off, and this setting is set to 100 degrees. So that what that means is that uh, the low limit has been set to 100 degrees. So what that means to you is that when the coil reaches 100 degrees, the unit will automatically shut off, okay? Now, I'm not gonna wait until that happens because that'll make this very long video, but we'll walk you through some other functionalities, okay? Now, the other feature of this unit that's really useful is the automatic shut off feature, okay? And this unit allows you to set that uh, timer to anywhere from one to 999 minutes, or you can shut it off altogether. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So with the unit on, you're gonna you turn it on. With the unit on, you're gonna press and hold the dial button for five seconds. Okay, once you see this in the display, you're gonna roll that zero up to 166. This will give you access to a set of parameters that will allow you to change um, the features that we're talking about. So I'll just go all the way up to 166. Okay, and I'll press down. So that's the first parameter. We're gonna skip that. So by uh, I'm gonna press down to skip it. And I'm gonna keep skipping until I see the feature that I want. This is to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. I'm gonna skip that. And then this is the feature that you're looking for. This is automatic shut off. So here, you can turn it all the way down for off, or you can set it to anywhere from one to Nine hundred ninety-nine minutes. Of course, the standard here—it's uh, by default. It's set up to sixty minutes. So, um, the unit, if left alone, uh, or the unit will shut off automatically after sixty minutes. I'm gonna leave it there. So that's by default. Once you pr press enter or press down on the dial button, it'll go back to the main screen. Okay. Um, Another feature is to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we're gonna go through the same process. Press this down for five seconds. 
go to the 166 menu, press down, and then skip through those parameters. And here you go. Now you turn the dial to get Celsius, turn the dial the other way to get Fahrenheit. Once you reach your desired setting, you just press down, and it'll take you back to the next parameter, and then you can press down on that to skip it to the main screen. Okay. Now, there's one other feature that I've seen that is very useful uh, for this device, and that's to set the low limit. So the low limit is when you shut the unit off, the low limit is the temperature at which the unit will shut off completely. So in this case, as, as I explained earlier, when you shut it off, the coil, it'll keep reading the coil temperature until it reaches the low limit temperature. Uh, in this case, it's set to 100 degrees, and when the temperature of the coil reaches 100 degrees, the unit will shut off completely. Until then, you'll get this notification that it's still hot and that it's all shut off, okay? So in order to change that, if you want to make it um, hotter so that it, it shuts off sooner, um, with the unit on, we're going to go ahead and try that. This time, instead of going, we're going to press down for five seconds. And then we're gonna go to the menu 155. So that's 155 as opposed to 166. Okay, and I'm gonna press down. Now I'm gonna skip through some of these parameters until I reach the one that I need. So high limit, that's the maximum temperature that your device will allow you to heat the coil up to. That's the default, so I'm gonna leave it. Low limit is set to 100. So when your coil reaches 100 degrees, the unit will shut off. You can change this temperature. I would recommend going higher, if anything, because if you go lower, the unit will never shut off unless it reaches that temperature, okay? So I'm gonna leave it at 100 degrees. It's pretty ideal. And also from this menu, you can do a factory reset. So you have yes or no as an option. And I'm just gonna leave it there. That's pretty much it. So this is how to use your Auber RDK 300B controller. If you have any questions, please shoot an email to support at canvashardware.com. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.